Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. How you can turn something so simple into something pretty creative and pretty nice looking. So we're going to make an ellipse. It doesn't matter what size. I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate while holding down, not even holding down the control button. I'm just going to kind of squeeze that in. And then I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. And what that did, that made those two ellipses perfect. I'm going to take away the top line. I'm going to control D and group this or control D and duplicate it. Double click on the rotation, put it in the center. I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees. Well, that didn't work. Let's try grouping this together. Control G, control D to duplicate. And let's rotate it 45 degrees. Now we've got this shape right here. We're going to take the smart fill tool. I'm going to use that same uh, color. I really started liking this burn orange. So I have two shapes there. I'm going to nudge them out of the way. Then I'm going to grab my whole box and I'm going to delete it. I'm going to nudge these back. I don't really have to. I can move them around whatever I want. But I'm going to take this bottom one. I'm going to take the interactive fill tool and just kind of swipe and make it dark. We don't want it too dark. So you could extend that out quite a bit. Then I'm going to click on that one. I'm going to make this one quite a bit darker. It's like it's going in a, into the hole or the realm of that item. There's a, still a lot of the things you could do. Uh, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's take an ellipse. Let's make it white. Let's take away the outline. We won't be able to see it till we get it on our item. We're going to give it a, like a little bit of a reflection look. Let's put it up in here, kind of angle it, maybe make it a little bit longer. Whoop, don't want to move that. I don't want it quite so thick. I'm going to call that good. Then I'm going to go to effects and blur and Gaussian blur. I just want a little bit of a, I want quite a bit of a blur. That looks pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is control G to group this, control D to duplicate it, double click on the rotation and put it right up there on that node. Now, if you remember, we rotated 45 degrees. Well, this shape was cut out of that 45 degrees. So now we can do this. That little white kind of adds a lot. It maybe needs to be a little bit less of a um, focal point maybe. So let's kind of back up here. This is still grouped together. I'm going to go to arrange, group, and ungroup. Let's take this back to the effects. Let's go uh, blur, gussy a blur, and let's make it quite a bit more. We can either do this. That looks pretty good. And you could always go to the transparency docker. Let me zoom in here. I think that's going to be perfect, though. Get the transparency docker, and you can make it a little bit less transparent or more transparent, I guess. Control G to group, Control D to duplicate. And you could root, use your rotation um, on this. I shouldn't have made a copy of it then, but I'm gonna take this, go up to Windows, Dockers, Transform, and go to Rotation, and rotate it 45 degrees, and we need eight of them. We've already got one, so I'm gonna press in seven. I did not, that's how you find out mistakes. Um, I did not move the rotation to there. That looks pretty cool. It actually, that white actually helps it kind of make it look like it's bent a little bit. Let's see what it looks like with a black box around it. Pretty cool. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.